بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسائر المرسلين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد أعزائي طلاب الفرقة الثالثة شعبة اللغة الإنجليزية كلية التجارة جامعة كفر الشيخ نتابع معا اليوم الخميس 9 أبريل 2020 محاضرة مادة Tax Accounting والنهاردة إن شاء الله هنبدأ مع بعض الفصل الخامس ب Tax on Income from Professional and Non-Commercial Activities Professional and Non-Commercial Activities is a specific economic uh, activity um, it's very important to uh, read carefully this introduction that is because uh, this introduction enable you to differentiate well between income from professional and the non uh, commercial activities and income from wages and the salaries and income from commercial and industrial activities there is a fine difference between these three categories or three types of income um, as you see, all economic entities contribute to the burden of public and the national spending. These contributions are, in most cases, a form of tax imposed by legislative body in the country of interest. Tax law classifies tax into several categories based on the form of the taxable entity and the source of income. The form of uh, taxable entity um, means uh, that there is a different treatment uh, between sole proprietorship uh, from partnership from corporations these are the three types of uh, entities and the another differentiation in tax treatment based on the source of income uh, tax law differentiate among uh, income come from uh, different sources sources of income are also classified into several categories one income driven by work for others work for others as uh, in case of employee or worker work for others not owner he is hired to work for others this uh, type of work uh, has a return called salaries or wages salaries and wages we talk about salaries and wages tax uh, before but this is one source of income the another source of income come from or driven by a mix of labor and the capital like in case of commercial and industrial activities as you know uh, commercial and industrial activities as you uh, learned before comes from 
the combination of capital and work the two factors work together to produce income this type of income has a separate tax treatment uh, third type of income income driven by capital only by capital only uh, income come uh, from capital only like in case of properties and uh, uh, in terms of building rented uh, for uh, cash or uh, uh, agricultural land uh, exploitations uh, and uh, it is uh, one type of income uh, come or yield or driven by capital only the tax law differentiate between these uh, income according to its source now we will introduce the tax and accounting guides for determining taxable income, assessing tax, other relevant issues for professionals and other persons conducting non-commercial activities. This type of income come from work only, work only. So uh, this uh, type of uh, income uh, subject is subject to a specified type of tax called professional and non-commercial activity tax. So uh, it is very important to uh, differentiate between the source of uh, source of income to see uh, whether this income is subject to salaries and wages and the like tax or uh, profit of uh, commercial and industrial activities or professional income income from professions and non-commercial activities uh, it's very important now uh, 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 to differentiate between the professions uh, and non-commercial activities Tax legislator law number 146 of the 1951 introduced the one definition for professions. Professions that include non-commercial activities as well. It is defined as a profession in which a person independently conducts his her activities and uh, significantly based on own knowledge and personal skill you know a, a profession activity is conducted by independent person uh, based on his knowledge his knowledge and personal skill this is the professional activities definition Professional and the non-commercial activities are defined as those activities exercised by taxpayer independently, in which labor consists the basic element. Article number 32 of the law number 91 for the year 2005. The income uh, is, is driven by 
the labor, the labor, labor consists the basic element of producing income and the taxpayer perform his activity independently, independently. So, or therefore, to subject to tax on income from non-commercial activities, the taxpayer must, must fulfill uh, uh, some conditions. First, work for himself under his own responsibility, not subservient to others. This is the condition number one. His work independently under his responsibility, not for others. Second condition is the work performance is dependently or dependent basically on his labor and expertise not on the capital invested the uh, income come from the work the, the the work not come from the capital investment the distinction, a distinction between professions and non-commercial activities can be illustrated in the following factors. Number one, profession require obtaining field knowledge through education and training. For example, physicians has to got bachelor, master, MD before practicing is the profession of a physician. Certified accountants, he has to got a bachelor in accounting and trained under supervision of all the uh, uh, certified public accountant for a specific period before uh, getting or getting uh, a allowance for uh, conducting their profession. So, the profession require obtaining field knowledge. Number two, profession require the member to obtain license after satisfying the profession exam and the minimum years of training and expert experience. So, uh, 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 professions require specific uh, knowledge or um, uh, education and the training. Uh, uh, profession require uh, to obtain a license, license after satisfying professions exam and the minimum years of training and experience. Number three, Professions should follow standards of conduct. Professions should, professional activities should follow standard of conduct. Do prof process in performing their service. These standards are established by profession monitoring organization such as physician association and the Institute of Certified Public Accountants standard uh, 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 or the profession should follow standard of conduct. Number four, professionals are required to maintain update knowledge. Professionals are required to update, to update their knowledge uh, uh, to acquire the new advancement and techniques in their field of practice. Failure to do so may lead to loss of practice license. Such as a uh, public accountant, certified public accountant has to be uh, 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 up to date his knowledge 
by the new laws and the standards, accounting standard to be updated, to be uh, to follow or update his knowledge, uh, uh, to uh, be able to work or to follow the most recent standard that govern his work. So this is uh, 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 characteristic number four. Number five civil and the criminal responsibilities. Professionals are subject to civil and the criminal responsibilities in case of failure to perform as a service of performing at a substandard. Professionals are subject to penalties under the civil or criminal law or both, depending on the severity of the failure. So the professionals are subject to civil and the criminal responsibilities if they perform the, their work the wrong way or avoid or violate the law or the standard governing these uh, activities. This distinction has led earlier researchers to conclude that we must differentiate between closed professions conducted by persons who have and the subject to requirement listed above and the other open professions. Open uh, a closed profession has to fulfill all of these uh, 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 characteristics. But open professions that are conducted by other person who simply do non-commercial activities based on their talents and personal skills without meeting a pre-established qualification such as photographer, music composer, and conductor. These uh, are non-commercial non-commercial activities not profession not professional activities these activities uh, related to or classified into what we call non-commercial non-commercial activities but the activities conducted by professions that fulfill these characteristics we call it profession, profession. But in this law, we uh, 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 collect or gather, uh, our, our, our make together the professional activities and non-commercial activities in one uh, tax uh, base to be uh, treated as uh, professional and uh, non-commercial uh, activities. Uh, this uh, introduction is very important uh, to differentiate among the uh, source of uh, the source of income, the tax law that has to be uh, applied, uh, and um, for the uh, exam um, consideration, uh, we will see that this introduction is very important because we can uh, ask many, many questions in terms of true or false and say questions in this part. Another uh, point uh, that is very important and um, although this introduction differentiate well between the uh, the professional and the non-commercial activities uh, and its uh, differentiation 
uh, with uh, other type of activities the tax law number 91 for the year 2005 gives us some examples gives us some examples of free professions and non-commercial professions some examples very good very well it is very well to know that uh, some examples of professions and non-commercial professions to know that any one of these activities has to be uh, treated as profession uh, or professional activity or non-commercial activity these examples include accounting and auditing artistic scientific and library speech engineering and agricultural engineering attorney professions translations handwriting journalism tourist guidance drawing broadcasting profession authorship of scientific and library assortment fashion shoes fashion shows uh, these are some examples some examples of professional and the non-commercial uh, activities um, any one of these activities professional and non-commercial um, activities to be subject to the tax article number 32 of law number 91 for the year 2005 state that this tax is imposed on the net revenues result from conducting professional and non-commercial activities net revenues not the profit like in case of uh, commercial and industrial activities and not the uh, tax base um, in case in uh, in case of uh, 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 salaries and wages and the like tax it is uh, the tax is imposed on net revenues net revenues you know so we have revenues total or gross revenues uh, minus uh, 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 corresponding expenses and costs to uh, uh, reach or to arrive to the net revenues net revenues is the uh, uh, tax base of uh, professional and non-commercial uh, activities um, uh, that are driven primarily by labor within the boundaries of the Arab Republic of Egypt the regionality you know the principle of regionality the net revenues of conducting uh, professional and non-commercial activities conducted or performed within the boundaries of the Arab Republic of Egypt. Further analysis of Article 32 indicates that revenues generated by individuals who belong to the following activities are subject to this tax. Professions and non-commercial activities, patents and copyrights, any other activities that is not subject to a specified tax this is very important point if any taxpayer get any type of income that are uh, that is not subject to any other type of tax has to be subject to this tax which is 
tax on professional and non-commercial activities. Any other activity that is not subject to any other specified tax. For example, if I have a specific income um, that is not subject to um, wages and the salaries, not subject to the tax on profit of commercial and industrial activities, not subject to the tax on property. This type of income is subject now to the tax on professions and the commercial activities. It is the uh, complement of the uh, tax system that is subject on any income that is not subject to any other income uh, tax. So uh, this point uh, could come in terms of uh, 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 questions in, in exercises, in, uh, 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 in problems, uh, in essay questions. So I do recommend you to focus on this point well. Revenues earned by an individual in the above three groups of activities shall be subject to the tax according to the following conditions. Another point, very important point. This point is the conditions, the conditions or the terms that make the uh, uh, income from professional and the non-commercial activity subject to this type of tax are we have five conditions we have five conditions these conditions are number one practice of the profession or the activity with the intention of achieving a profit the uh, profit seeking uh, is the uh, condition number one the practice of the profession or the activity non commercial activity with the intention of uh, achieving a profit it is the condition number one if the taxpayer did some um, uh, activities professional activities uh, but he didn't uh, receive any uh, profits or uh, income from it, this type of activities is not subject to the, uh, this tax. The condition number two, independent practice of the profession or the activity, independence, the independence is the second uh, condition. For example, if uh, I conduct uh, a, a teaching accounting, for example, in the College of Commerce at Kafr, in Kafr Sheikh University, uh, now I'm working not independently, I'm working for my college or uh, my faculty. I'm here uh, work as uh, as uh, an employee, not independently. But if I practice a profession of certified public accountant in my own office, in this case, I uh, my income from practicing this profession is subject to the profession and non-commercial activity tax but in the case number one if i work uh, or did or practice my profession uh, for another person like uh, a faculty or um, uh, working for a company uh, or something like this in this case any income come from the practice of this profession represent uh, the uh, income that is 
subject to salaries and the wages tax not professional and the non-commercial tax this is the uh, condition number two condition number three is the uh, labor labor should be the dominant factor for generating the revenue the labor should be the dominant factor for generating the revenue not the capital as we mentioned before um, br uh, the the uh, uh, condition number four is the practice of the profession or activity regularly regularly uh, is means continuity in practicing the profession uh, it is not uh, considered as uh, a profession if you did the, this practice for one time and stop and not uh, practice the profession regularly uh, so the uh, practice of the profession or the activity regularly and and the continuous uh, 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 conducting the practice and uh, uh, of the profession or the activity is the uh, condition number four condition number five is practicing the profession or non-commercial activity in egypt performing the profession or the non-commercial activity in egypt that means if professional conducts service outside egypt uh, in another country the profits or income uh, she or he earns from this outside service are not subject to this tax in egypt these are uh, the five conditions that has to be met to apply the professional and non-commercial activity tax on the income of uh, the natural person now uh, we have to stop here and uh, we will continue the uh, remaining uh, parts in this chapter and this type of text next lecture inshallah up till that date i hope you good luck and see you wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh